going on guys? It's me, the Goomy Gamer, and today I'm reviewing, um, the, all the, um, DLC stuff I've been talking about in, um, the past couple, uh, Shovel Knight videos that I've been making, and so, uh, yeah, so it's the Spectre Knight DLC, and, uh, welcome back, Shovel Team, did you miss us? We missed you. We've remained hidden away, hard at work on new s stretch goal updates. More, but figured this would be a great time to check in on where we're at. Lots of animated images ahead. So, here's a big picture of Spectre Knight. Wait, focus. Alright, well, it's not focusing that great. It's about as good as I can get. So, yeah, here's Spectre Knight. Um, Spectral Campaign Arises. Set aside your shovel and put those potions away. That's cool. Um, a new campaign is on the way, starring no other than the shadowy Spectre Knight. So here's a little gif of him running, so that's that's pretty exciting. I've already looked at this page multiple times to see it, keep up to, updated on, like, when it's coming up, but they still haven't released it yet. But Like, I look at him go, you might remember him as a hovering apparitional adver adversary. Adversary, sorry. Um, but now he runs and jumps with the best of them. With his sig signature scythe and tell he's one of the larger playable characters too. Let's take a look at some of his moves. So he's got like a little slash. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, press attack to unleash a frightfully fast slash. Great, great for getting a hit in or striking an enemy before they can strike you. So here's another little gif. So he's going to be all about speed. So the dash slash is one of Spectre Knight's most important skills for both combat and mobility. Jump into the air, line up your strike, and press press attack to make a diving slash toward the enemy. So, so you can like keep doing that too, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, facing a tough foe, line up a... Uh, or line up repeated strikes, cut them down to size. So you can jump and then like slash up. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I've actually noticed that there's these like red skulls that he collects like right here. And um, and instead of his health, it's, or um, the usage of his magic is darkness. And his health is called will. And then, I don't know. I don't think he has will you see it, but literally right here it looks like his scythe is like one of his items, like right here. Um, but yeah, that's what I've noticed and given us. Uh the de the dash slash can drive downwards or rise upwards and initiate the attack while while above an enemy slap. To slash downwards or start the Attack from below to cut upwards. Master this technique to reach new heights. Wall climb. Spectre Knight makes up his his makes up for his low jump height with peerless climbing abilities. If there's a wall, there's way. <laughs> yeah, there's him. He can run up a wall. I feel like you could get more of a kickstart too if you like jump and then start climbing. I wonder if it's just like automatic if you have to like press something and hold it and then do that, but um move into move into almost any wall or ledge Inspector Knight will begin climbing once he reaches the top he'll leap up to the higher ground. Inspector Knight can only climb a, a set of distance before falling or jumping away though to be sure to plan your path accordingly. So here's that like um Hold on, once it goes back. So here's that skull thing right here. Um, yeah, that's the skulls that he collects. Instead of the cipher, cipher coins. Um, so yeah, when can I do this? Um, it says there's no estimated, uh, um, like, time of release yet, which kind of sucks, but... I'll wait patiently and make it, make it as good as possible, because I really can't wait for that. So, um, 
All right, so it says, with that experience fresh in our minds, the team is now working on all remaining campaigns and updates at once. That means first Spectre Knight will come out, then King Knight will come out, then with, I think Body Swap will come with King Knight, and then Spectre Knight will come with Battle Mode for PC and consoles. All right, so that's a lot more game, and it should arrive sooner than the wait between Shovel Knight and Plague Knight. So yeah, it's it was like almost a year wait between Plague Knight and the game. And so, working on two campaigns, Spectre Knight, King Knight. All right, cam campaigns will not be releasing at the same time. Spectre Knight will be released first. So yeah, no no estimated time for update. Um. Uh, similar to our last update, we'll probably go overboard, too. Hey, maybe that's why we're called Yacht Club Games. I don't really understand about that, but, okay. <laughs> Got a little link here. Can... Oops. Yeah. Oh, pff, well, okay. We can look at that later. Um, new campaigns will come with new feats and challenges for the new campaign character. We're also working on two modes, Body Swap and Battle Mode. So what I've heard about body swap is that it's like gender change or something, and then battle mode is pretty explanatory. It's um, it says, um, battle mode is design is being designed as a single screen mul multiple controller, multiple mul multiple controller multiplayer mode, and is currently not planned to arrive on handheld console versions of the game. We we'll be sure to announce if there are any changes. So I'll still get out my PC, but not my 2DS yet, so. Much like Plague of Shadows, all the announced upcoming Shovel Knight content will be free on all platforms for disc, slash cart, and digital versions. So that's awesome. Uh, it's coming out for the PS Vita, stuff like that. If you guys wanna get it, if, you, if any of you who are subscribed to me have a PS Vita or use it or Stuff like that. There's a there's a version of it called Cross Save, and you can like if you have Shovel Knight for like the PS4, you can um connect it to your PS Vita and then get your all your save files. So here's the latest thing that they've released, and actually, what's cool? Uh, they got one million copies sold. Um. 1 million copies sold of Shovel Knight, which is absolutely amazing. I am a part of one of those cap 100, or 100, uh, 1 million copies here. I'll even grab it. Because I did a little review. So yeah, here it is. Shovel Knight, woohoo! And then I got it on my PC, as you guys know, because I make a lot of it. So... <laughs> So yeah, and then, so yeah, one million copies sold of that game. That's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, King Knight Mobility Preview GIF. This is what me and AP Redditor were looking at. We're absolutely, well, I'm, he said he's not too excited for King Knight. After that, what they just showed of King Knight, I... I'm pretty excited for it. So, um, let this little GIF load up. Come on. <laughs> Whoop. Okay. Press play. I press play. Okay, so yeah. So it looks like he's got a charge. He's got the spin move, which is absolutely awesome. He bounce and bounce and bounce and and then that little cape twirl. So, there, hopefully that looks better. So yeah, that charge move looks pretty cool. It looks like a dash, dash forward attack, like when you jump, or you can do it on the ground. Um, looks like he also collects something too. It looks like crowns he collects, instead of cypher, cypher coins or that, that skull thing like Spectre Knight. But, um... So yeah, really cool stuff that they've released. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's very cool. I'm so excited for it. Um, 
Can I go back, please? <laughs> Sorry, my computer is really slow. Okay, so yeah, that's um, and then themes for the 3DS, Vita, and PS4 released. Um, so yeah, we'll check out that other tab. And here's this. Plague of Shadows update. Okay, well, I already have it, because I already beat it. And this little gif. But yeah, no, some very exciting stuff. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been talking about for the past couple of videos. But, um, yeah. Really excited for Spectre Knight and King Knight. I hope they make it, um, some two banger, uh, updates. I'm really excited for them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, um, revitalizing announcement. Um, as in other words, Spectre Knight and King Knight, uh, DLC, like, review. But not, not a review, but like, um, info that they've given us about, about these two nights. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you guys in the next Shovel Knight video or Clash Royale. I'm still working on some Clash Royale videos, um, and maybe some more Slither.io videos. I know, uh, AP Redditor wanted to see me do some more of those. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in whatever video I upload next. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm the Gooby Gamer signing out. Goodbye, everyone.